Now at 10, stormy for some earlier this evening, but it's finally calmed down. What to expect for the rest of the week ahead? A lot of anxiety, uh, a lot of people's vacations interrupted. A scare at the seacoast. What went wrong after Seabrook Nuclear Station's alarms were accidentally activated? And one of former President Trump's closest allies testifies on the Capitol riot. New details from inside the White House hours after the 2020 election votes were counted. And the new warning from the FBI after hundreds of New Englanders get hit by rental scams. No one covers New Hampshire like we do. WMUR News 9 at 10 starts now. A stormy afternoon in the Granite State today. Take a look at this video from Wolfboro, where winds were rocking boats out on the water. Rain being pushed in all directions as gusts swept through the area. In Penacook, hail covering what was green grass there, giving lawns across the state plenty of water after a few dry days. And now the calm after the storm. Hampton saw some dark clouds earlier, but the sunset lit up the skies in pink with fog covering the coastline. What a difference there. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Monica Hernandez. And I'm Steve Otari. I want to get right out to Chief Meteorologist Mike Haddad tonight. So Mike, the storms are now out of here and mm -hmm. sunshine's on its way back for us. Yeah, that's right. As a matter of fact, uh, tomorrow we'll hang on to a little bit of humidity in the morning. Very low shower chance in the afternoon, so much quieter for the day tomorrow. Here's